Okay guys, we got another bike. Now, this one's a little bit different. Here it is. This is a 2014 Honda CBR 1000 RR SP edition. Just do a quick walk around. It's mostly here. This I think there's a few missing parts, but for the most part, we got ourselves a, a new fire blade. And um, I know what you guys are thinking. This is probably just like ridiculous. Now I told you guys I wasn't going to give it more bikes, and then here I am with another one. Um, I, I'll explain to you guys exactly why I bought this bike uh, with one word. Well, wait, three words. $500. <laughs> That's what I paid for this. Me and my friend went in on it together and we got this bike, $250 each, and we're going to fix this bike up together. And um, either he'll buy me out of it or I'll buy him out of it or we'll co own it or we'll turn it into a track bike or we'll just, you know, turn it over, sell it, and get money. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do with it yet. But the first thing is first, we are going to get this thing running. We're going to get this thing going. For now, we're just going to worry about getting the thing running right. And then we're going to start assembling it, getting the thing just looking right. Yeah, this thing is going to be sweet. It's going to be a fun project to work on. Going to work on this for the channel. I think it'll be a, uh, I think it'll be a great time. So stay tuned, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Like this video if you like seeing projects like this. And uh, let me know down in the comment sections what you think about this bike. Is this the cheapest Honda SP out there ever? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I am looking forward to working on this. And I know you guys are looking forward to seeing how this thing turns out. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. So I picked up this 2014 Honda CBR 1000 RR SP for just $500. Now, I know most of you won't believe me, but I swear on everything it's true. How I got such an amazing deal was pure luck. I have a buddy that worked at a motorcycle shop, and his manager took this bike in as a trade-in, I believe. I think he said he paid $1,500 for it. Well, he was storing it in the shop for months before the owner told him to get that eyesore out of there that day. He had absolutely nowhere to store it, and that's where me and my friend Matt come in. We just offered $500 seeing what he would say, and to our surprise, he took it. So that's how I ended up with this bike. I have zero room for the bike at my house. As you guys know, I have like a million motorcycles. So I will be storing it at my buddy's house as we work on it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'm excited to continue this series and I hope you guys are interested in it too. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye-bye.